All right, I'm going to show you how the governor works real quick on these uh, mini bikes. This is a Coleman, uh, but it's the same for any of them, and whether you have the uh, Predator swap or anything, uh, same with go karts with similar motors and such. So, I'm just going to show you how the governors on these real work real quick. So, typically you have a throttle stop on these. Right there's your throttle. You can see I bent that screw up. You can cut it off, bend them back, whatever. I did a video on that as far as removing your throttle stop so that you can actually go full throttle. But you also have the governor that there's full throttle on your carb, okay? The governor, once your RPMs get too high, it pulls that back so that it won't allow you to be full throttle. That way you don't surpass the set RPM of the governor. The way that works is this extra little arm here. You can kind of see it run across to the other side. And there's an arm that it's attached to. Internally, there's a gear that grabs onto that one way or another. I'm not exactly sure how the internal workings uh, work. That's, this is just to show you how it works on the outside. So internally, there's like a gear or something that once it surpasses, and it might be a throwout type or something like that, once it hits uh, whatever RPM it's set at, it'll kick out and it grabs this arm that's attached to your carburetor there and it'll basically just pull the throttle back to keep it from over revving so I'm going to start it up and show you that real quick there's part throttle I'm just going to go full throttle and you'll see it kick on and off. Now I was holding the throttle in the same position the whole time. That's that governor kicking in. So that's how it works. And then obviously there's ways to bypass that. Check out the mini bike playlist and I'll show you how to do that.